Portland go celebrate this night belong to the Thorns. Fresh off their third National Women's Soccer League Championship, the Portland Thorns are for sale. Owner Merritt Paulson revealing the news Thursday morning. It's a really good step forward, uh, but it's not complete yet. Tina Etlin is a member of the Rose City Riveters Steering Committee and a member of the 107ist, a nonprofit that supports both the Thorns and Timbers. It's Tina's belief that Paulson should not stop at selling the Thorns. Yeah, I mean, the same reason Merritt is unfit to own the Thorns is the same reason he's unfit to own the Timbers. So, um, I mean, he still needs to sell the Timbers as well. For now, there are no plans to do that. Paulson only intends to sell the Thorns, a decision that does not come out of nowhere, not by a long shot. You might recall back in October, Paulson removed himself as CEO of the Thorns and Timbers. The shakeup at the top of both soccer clubs coming after a months-long investigation into allegations of abuse in the NWSL. The investigation revealed a toxic culture of sexual, emotional, and verbal abuse across the league and within the Thorns organization. Former coach Paul Riley was to blame for a lot of that, but the investigation also showed patterns of misconduct by Paulson and front office staffers Gavin Wilkinson and Mike Golub, who were dismissed. I don't know if I'd be able to start with anything, but I'm sorry. That's Paulson telling sports columnist and radio show host John Canzano in a one-on-one -on -one interview he failed the players, namely the ones who were subjected to the abuse. Paulson also took ownership for his handling of coach Paul Riley. There's no excuse for that coach ever working another day. He shouldn't have been working to begin with uh, and certainly never should have worn a Portland Thorns badge. Um, we could have done more and we could have done better. And they were failed by uh, institutions and people. And, uh, you know, I think the league's going to be stronger coming out of this. That's certainly the hope and playing a big role in that will be the Thorns' next owner, who, according to Tina Etlin, must check a lot of boxes. Any group or person that will center the players and the employees within that building and make sure that their needs are met first and foremost. Um, somebody that understands the history of soccer in Portland and embraces that. All right, in light of everything that's happened across the league and right here in Portland with the Thorns, uh, the league commissioner is establishing a player safety office, and we can tell you that Merritt Paulson is pledging $1 million to that work.